Today, welcome back to The Crew 2. This is an incredible car that I'm super looking forward to showing you. So let's jump straight away and look at opening this door. Does the door open? I have to come over to this side. That makes a little bit more sense. Look at the electric sliding door. This car, would you believe? All right, let's just take your guesses. Take your guesses. When do you think this car was created? 1959 is the correct answer. So if you got that right... I'm, I'm surprised, to be honest with you, unless you already knew. You might have already known. I've got some cool facts about this car that I definitely want. I, I didn't know anything about it. When it's a car like this I don't know anything about, I definitely want to do some facts. But anyway, let's jump to the bundles. Because it is available in a bundle, which is always, always the way I'm going to recommend you do it. So let's have a look. 500,000 for the bundle. Also get the BMW Z4 M40i, which is now out. If you didn't want to get the Summit version of it, it's available. I was so confused when people were talking about that. And the Supersonic Edition is also available, which gives us a little bit of a spicy purple flavor. Box design, pretty sick if you ask me. But I want to know if there's any customization. Oh, there's also this Bugatti bundle. If you don't have all the Bugatti... Oh my god, I, I don't have this Bugatti Veyron. Bundle 7, you need to get on if you still haven't done that yet. And of course, we've got a touring expert pack just as a case as well, in case you want that. I think this is all what was available last time. So without further ado, let's jump in, buy this bundle. Now, I could buy the car individually. I don't have the Z4 yet. So I'm going to use my crew credit. They're there to be used and abused. But look at this machine. Let's go and drive it. Man, I need to take this mask off. It looks so silly. But look, it's a rocket. An actual, genuine rock. Is it a rocket or a boat? Let's go for a drive. It sounds classic. Oh, it feels classic too. Proper swervy, but not massively. It's actually... It's easy to re-correct it, but of course we have yet to upgrade it. It revs to 5,000 RPM, which is not... It's not a lot. Now, some of you may have noticed there's no actual exhaust on the back. Did you see it? It comes out the front in front of the front wheels you know i'm gonna be sorely sorely disappointed with no customization for this there's got to be look at the top of this thing it's like a little bubble without the bubble being here we're going back to classic incredible happenings here on the black pains channel any who do not let me down ivory tower this is needed i need this i need to make this thing even cooler please Otherwise, it's, no, it's not even worth getting this one. I would recommend getting the special version. Customize. So far, so good. I want to get overexcited. we got beautiful white walls. I don't even know why you would want to change that. The official color only came in one official color. It's a concept car. It didn't exist. Now, one other cool little fact about this car. In the front, it has these, these beacons. That, that I even know what you'd describe them as. The lights are actually in the grill. So what are those all about? Well, these actually are an obstacle avoidance system. Back in 1959. If you were going to hit something, it was going to stop the future. Maybe, maybe it didn't work. Maybe that's why the car never became a thing. Let's, let's put a nice uh, iridescent color on here. Oh, the iridescent purple is looking spicy with those white walls. And oh, I'm going to have to decide on a little bit later. I'm going to have to decide a little bit later. Please, Ivory Tower. Damn it! Damn it to hellfire! What on earth have you done? Why? <laughs> also, this is horrendous. I don't want to put new wheels on this thing. What have you done, Ivory Tower? Disgraceful. No. Oh, hang on. Rear wing? We're putting the bubble on it. Come on! <laughs> you can't tease me with- The glass bubble, though, is sick. Look at that. It's just so perfectly molded. I love that so much. I really, really do like that. I'm sure that was a standard option, right? That's, that's the th They're just telling us the convertible option. Listen! I'm sorely disappointed, Ivory Tower. Sorely disappointed. This could have been incredible with some customizations. But anyway, I'm going to I'm gonna stop. I'm going to have to wait 20 minutes for the doors to open. That's the only thing. Oh, and also, how do I get in with this roof on? Do I have to really... <laughs> that was another oversight. So I guess we're kind of figuring out why... This didn't quite come to fruition. So I'm going to go for... I'm going to go for the yellow interior. And make it a little bit more subtle. I like that. It's almost like a submarine. If this was on GTA, it would go under the water. Carbon fiber steering wheel. Yes, indeed. 
And finally, we just end with a color. That's a... It's a huge shame. We can make it a literal fishbowl if we go for the blue. It's a fishbowl, baby! Went for the purple... And we're going to go and slap on some 280 parts. I'm a little bit late to jumping into this car. I say a little bit late. It's literally 12 o'clock. So the car's been out. Well, they tend to come out. I don't know when they come out. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, we have got 1,000 horsepower. 1,088 horsepower in this thing. Is this just completely converted this to be an insane monster? Now, of course, as I said, I want to keep the white walls. I think... It deserves it. It belongs. I, I'm going to go through anyway just to see if we got any fancy white walls. I don't think we've ever purchased any fancy white walls. Oh, that looks even more like a concept car. That's just cool. We got smoke. We got NOS. We're going to go for purple. We're going for pimping. Big pimping. Purple on the underglow. We got window tint customization too. Do I want to do that? Put a little bit... Oh, it does all the window. Perfect. A little bit of a black tint on the window. And I think that's pretty much it. We're going to jump through the liveries just to see has anyone created anything. Oh. Oh, I see. Rocket 69 too. That's pretty cool. Cadillac. Oh, that is awesome. And of course, we've got some trees. <laughs> I don't know. US Air Force. An America livery. That's beautiful. I am hoping that this is going to be quick. Let's get it. I mean, already the gears are quite long for a classic machine like this. It's a street race spec vehicle. Not quite a hypercar. So I can not even expect anything. Look at this pile up. What the hell is going on? What? Just me driving off the cliff on my ghosts. Yeah, don't don't mind me. This is pretty sick. It's a little bit boaty, but not massively. Like I would expect, I would have expected a lot more. But I think what this car had as one of the pioneer. It's quick. One of the pioneering features of this car is I think had an independent suspension for all four wheels, which was pretty sick. I can imagine as to why this was never created. I imagine it spent they spent a lot of money dreaming up this concept, but you don't get things like this anymore. All the concepts are like, oh, look at our electric car that has windows that are normal. Jump on to the cockpit view. This would feel incredible. The whole thing covered, but you see absolutely everything. It's so awesome. This, this, this is what I dream of. Driving through America in something like this. Just so unique, so beautiful. And of course, one of my favorite views of this car. Look at the hood view! That is the, one of the best hood views I have ever seen. It feels so fast. We're going to need to try it in a race. We need to properly try it. Compare it. See how it be. Here we go. Cadillac, Cadillac, show us how you do. Cadillac, give us the beans. With the purple knot at the front. Oh, this is going to look beautiful. Here we go. I'm going to get a shot of that. <laughs> That's so sick. Move out of the way, GT3 RS. Big old bubbly Cadillac coming through. See, the problem with a car like this, we ain't going to get nothing like this ever again. Because it's more car than actual usable space. There's absolutely no reason for anyone to ever buy something like this. But here's the thing. Companies need a car like this. I want to see more concepts that maybe never even come to, fr to fruition. To fruition. I, I just think, you know what would have been... Here's the thing. I, I love the exhaust at the front. Pretty sick. But can you imagine the exhaust coming out the, the rear? I even Are they lights? I can't tell because I'm tapping the brake and they're not lighting up. At least I can't see it. Coming out of there would have been sick. Like, that one's genuinely been awesome. I think they have room to do it in a car like this because just, I was, as I was saying, look at the useless space. There's so much absolutely useless space. I'm just hitting walls. Oh, no. I'm going to be beat by medium difficulty. <laughs> Get the hell out of the way. But you can't beat this. Putting one hand on the, on the wheel as he shifts there. Looks sick. It's the perfect, perfect machine for road tripping across, across the States. I, I, you already know, places like West Coast Customs and a bunch of those other stranger places have built things like this. It's almost like a Hot Wheels car, okay? And that's cool. Like, this this is what they thought the future could possibly look like. And a bunch of people agreed. 
absolutely way far off. But we've now got cars that are more basic than this as the electric vehicles start to take over the world. But you know what? It's fun to look back. I mean, we thought we'd have flying cars and hoverboards by now, but... We're still very far away from that, I imagine. To be fair, there are more pressing issues and higher priority developments that should be made before we have hoverboards. For one, teaching kids to use electric scooters properly, which seems quite impossible. Or adults, because they keep getting crushed by them as well. I mean, buses. Anyway, this is the Cadillac. I think it's awesome. You gotta let me know your thoughts on something just so awesome like this. Um, it makes me glad that I know that Su Toyota made the new Supra. Although the Supra's not quite what I had hoped for and wanted the Supra name to live and stand for in the future, I'm glad it's there because it pulls you in. It looks great. It pulls you into the dealership. And then you probably end up buying a Camry. But that's fine because that's what these cars are made for. That's why we need more of them. It don't matter if they don't sell. Make cool cars. Just make the shell. No one cares. Be sure to smash like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, peace.